hello and welcome back to the channel on today's tutorial i'll be sharing with you how i made this fitted gown with a gong sleeve so if you haven't yet subscribed to my youtube channel please hit on the subscribe button don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and stick to the end of the video and if you're a returning subscriber thank you for always supporting my channel so let's start so for the drafting part of the tutorial i'm going to be leaving the link at the description box or you can go down to my channel so after cutting out my pattern i went ahead to place it and i added half inch round so i didn't add at the armhole area because i've already added my sewing allowance at this part then going over to this i also went ahead to add half inch to join it down to the neckline so i just added 0 0.2 inch on top there so it's not necessary to add at that point so just like i said earlier i added half inch round this part for joining to the other part of the princess that moving along to the back also i cut out the pattern and i cut out the lining for it if you notice my back pattern i didn't add half inch round because i will just be sewing it that way so for my front i cut out my gum stay and my lining so now i'm going to be marking out the place for the wording that is if you want to pad your dress so to do that for the side part of my bustier on the pattern i went ahead to place and mark my nipple to nipple measurement which is 3.5 and i added about one inch by the side because the bust is always fuller by the side then i'm going to connect it down to my under bust line from the under bust i'll connect it to the upper part of the pattern after drawing out that part i'm going to place it to the other part and i'll make sure what i have meets at the other side so from there i'm going to connect it down to my pattern and from this particular front part of this you're just going to draw a straight line at your under bust so this is what you're going to be cutting out for this part and this is what you'll be cutting out for this part so i'll go ahead and cut it out and remember to add half inch at the front and also at the back just like you did for your main fabric so to join your dress i'll be giving a brief explanation on how you're going to do that so i'm just going to open my pattern the main fabric i'm just going to open it up this way so what you're going to do is you're going to take this center piece and you're going to join it to the back piece that's after you must have ironed your wording on your pattern so you're going to join from the lower part to the upper part and also remember that i added half inch extra in case at the upper part after joining you have excess you're just going to trim it off because it's better to have excess than to have less next piece i'll be working on is the lining part so i'm going to open my gum stay this way and then place my lining on it and i'm going to iron the gum stay to the lining after ironing the gum stay to the lining i'll go ahead to join it just like the same way i joined the main fabric and you're going to iron the shiny part of the gum stay to your lining after this the next part we'll be working on is the back pattern so for the back pattern no half inch is required all you have to do is to turn your lining with the back you're going to sew the neckline the zipper part and the sides so you're not going to close your armhole so the next step i'll be showing you how to attach your wording to your main fabric so you're going to iron it on it this way you're going to place the shiny part of the wording to the main to the wrong side of the fabric so after ironing you're just going to join so when you're done joining you notice that the wording is going to meet at this point so if you have any excess you're just going to trim it out like i said earlier so after joining this is what i have this is what the front pattern is looking like and i will go ahead to trim out the little excess i have at the armhole 
so this is what i have after i'm done trimming that and this is what the inside part of the dress looks like next is to insert the net area to the dress and i'm going to go ahead to stitch up the neckline and turn the lace up because i'm using a double lace for the neckline so after turning the neckline i'll go ahead to attach it to the dress this way and i'm going to sew it half inch so you can as well pin it down before sewing it on the machine so this is it and you can go ahead to stitch it up at the sewing machine so i'm done sewing and this is what i have at the neckline so i'm not really okay with what i have so what i'm going to do right now is to tear this part open and rejoin it but i'm going to be rejoining it with a pinch because i did not really add allowance for that so just like i said earlier when i was drafting the pattern you can slit your pattern and join it back so i've gone ahead to sew the neckline and this is what i have so i'm just going to join it back with a pinch because i didn't really add allowance for this part so next i'm just going to slit my lining into two just like i did for my main fabric please sorry for the generator sound at the background to join the lining to the dress i'm going to place the wrong side of the lining facing the wrong side of the fabric so next i'm going to place it this way and i will sew it half so i won't join the lower part at this point so after joining the neckline this is what i have at this part now is to stitch the fabric differently and to also stitch the lining separately so i'm done sewing and this is what i have so the next thing i'll do is to place the fabric this way and i'm going to stitch up the sides so after stitching up the side this is what i have for the front part we'll be moving over to the skirt part so right now we'll be cutting the lining for the skirt and we'll be minusing two and a half inches from it to give it a turn up effect so i'm just going to mark that point where my skirt started from so from that line i'm just going to go up by two and a half inches so at that two and a half inches i marked i'm just going to connect and cut my skirt so i'm done cutting out the skirt and this is what i have so you're also going to cut the back part of your skirt the same way so i'm going to join the lower part of my lining and the lower part of my skirt with half inch so the reason why i'm doing this is to give the skirt a turn up effect at the lower part of the skirt so after doing that what i'll do is to go ahead to measure 1.5 inches at the lower part of the skirt so after measuring it i'm okay. going to pin the skirt and i'm going to sew around so if you also notice by the time you're done your lining and your skirt will be meeting just this way so after sewing the next thing you're going to do is just to turn your skirt to the right part so this is what i have after turning and you're also going to do this to all your skirt pattern so after sewing this is what i have and this is the turn up effect i have at the lower part of the skirt so i'm going to be repeating the same process i did for the lining for the back pattern for the front pattern i'll spread open my front pattern i'll go ahead to bring out my lining and i'm going to place it on it and stitch with half inch at the lower part after stitching on it i'll go ahead to measure 1.5 inches and i'm going to stitch by the sides and then turn it to the right side after sewing this is what i have and i'm going to flip it to the back to show you what it looks like next step is to join the upper part of the dress to the lower part of the dress so with that i'm going to fold my skirt this way and i'm going to notch it at the center so for my front part i'm going to make use of the lining in front as the center of the upper part and i'll go ahead to stitch it with half inch so for my back i've turned the back and i've inserted the lining so i'm just going to place it and stitch it up with half inch 
after turning the back this is what i have so from the waistline i'm going to go down by 10 inches and then at the back i'm just going to stitch it down at the lower part to a point and i'll create a slit after doing that i'll go ahead to insert the zip at the back of the dress so my front and back pattern is ready the next thing i'm going to do is to place and join the shoulder so to join the shoulder you're just going to place the right sides facing each other so i'm just going to pick up the back and i'm going to leave it open this way so i'll take the front part and place in between the back so after placing it i'll go ahead to turn it with the lining together just this way and join with half inch after doing that i'll also do for this shoulder so after joining the lining this is what i have as you can see this part is very clean the inside is very neat so i'll go ahead to join the other shoulder next is to work on the sleeve so my sleeve is 15 inches by 15 inches so how i got the length is my shoulder to elbow which is 13 and i added two inches for folding so you can use any length of your choice so from this point i'm just going to mark a freehand sketch because the sleeve is an extravagant sleeve and i'll go down and mark my sleeve cap so from there i'm just going to trace it down to that point so next i will be cutting out the part that i won't be working with so after cutting out this is what i have and i cut out two sleeves at once so this is a peplum stay and i'm going to be using it at the sleeve to give it this standing effect so this is not a gum stay it is a peplum stay is actually very thicker than a gum stay so i cut out my lining just like i did for my skirt pattern i minus two inches for the lining so i'll be using the lining to cut out the gum stay because i'll be infusing the lining to the gum stay so after placing my pattern i'm going to make use of the lining measurement to cut out the the peplum stay sorry after cutting out this is what i have i'm going to cut two pieces for this so i'll go ahead to iron the peplum stay on the lining and after ironing it this is what i have so i'm going to turn the lining part up with the fabric and to do that i'm just going to stitch it with half inch at the lower part so after stitching it with half inch this is what i have and i'm going to flip it this way just like the same way i did for the lining and i'm going to measure about one inch at the lower part and then i'm going to go ahead to stitch back so if you have any excess just in case you're just going to trim it off from the lining part so after sewing this is what i have at the back and i'm going to go ahead to run a stitch at the upper part to hold it down so i'm done sewing the sleeve and it's time for me to join it to the dress so i'm just going to open up my pattern this way and i'm going to notch the center to notch the center you're going to fold your pattern into two and at that notched part i'm going to place it where the shoulder started and at that point i'm just going to pin so after pinning i'm just going to create little fold at the upper part of the sleeve just this way so while pleating you're just going to be pinning it or pinching it little at the top so if you fold it very large it's going to create a pleat at the lower part of the sleeve the main aim is to just create the pleat at the upper part of the sleeve so you're going to continue pinning this to the end of your sleeve so at this point if you find this tutorial very interesting and educative don't forget to hit, hit on the subscribe button don't forget to give this video a thumbs up leave your comment at the comment section and also share so at this point this is what i have pinned down and you're going to also pin down the other side of the armor so this is the sleeve and i'm done joining it so at this sleeve you're just going to leave the ending part half inch at the ending part because you're going to stitch it. 
stitch it up together with half inch you're just going to stitch it down with half inch at the sleeve part the reason why you left that half inch is to enable you join the other sleeve so next step from here is to join the other sleeve and to do that i'm going to fold this in this way so next we're going to cut out for the inner sleeve so i folded with my round arm holster circumference divided by two and i added half inch so from there i'm just going to mark my shoulder to elbow after marking my shoulder to elbow i'm going to mark my sleeve length so after marking that the next thing is to mark my elbow circumference and to mark that i'm going to measure my elbow circumference and i'm going to divide it by two and i'll be adding half inch so i'll be going down to the lower part of my sleeve which is my sleeve length and i'm going to insert my the round circumference of my wrist and i'm going to add half inch to it then i'm going to go ahead to connect it back to my pattern at the upper part so i'm going to measure the round armhole of the dress that i have after measuring it you're going to insert the measurement on your sleeve pattern but you're going to be dividing it by two inches to mark so after marking you're just going to add half inch for joining allowance so I'll go ahead to sew my sleeve with half inch after cutting out. So after cutting out, this is what my sleeve looks like and I'm going to attach it. After sewing it with half inch, what I'm going to do is to open up my sleeve and I'm going to place it round. You can as well pin it down to make it easier for you. So you're just going to take this sleeve and you're going to place it this way around the other part and you're just going to sew with half inch round it so i've gone ahead to attach the sleeve so the next thing i'm going to do is also attach the other parts of this sleeve i'm done attaching the sleeve the next thing i'm going to do is to shape my dress and to shape my dress i'm going to mark my vertical measurement so i'm going to place my tape and i'll mark my shoulder to bust after marking my shoulder to bust i'll mark my shoulder to under bust from my shoulder to under bust i'll mark my waist length and from my waist length i'll go down by seven inches and i'm going to mark for a taller person you can mark it at the bust i'll insert the bust circumference do the same at the under bust at the waist and at the hip i'll insert my hip circumference going down to the lower part of the dress to make this dress a fitted dress i'm just going to mark two inches and then i'll connect and so with this we have come to the end of the tutorial please like share and subscribe and don't forget to turn on the notification button